With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, in this question given the equilibrium constant for the reaction H2 gas plus I2 gas gives the two HI gas is 32. At a given temperature, the equilibrium concentration of I2 and HI are 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity respectively. The equilibrium concentration of a H2 is. So in this question, we have to given the chemical reaction H2 gas plus I2 gas gives the two HI gas and we have to given the equilibrium constant value and the equilibrium concentration of a HI and I2 gas is given. We have to find out the equilibrium concentration of a H2 gas. So in this question, we have to given the equilibrium constant. So equilibrium constant is a given. Equilibrium constant. Equilibrium constant. Equilibrium constant. Equilibrium constant is represented by K. K is represented by equilibrium constant K. That is we have to given 32. And the concentration of a HI at a equilibrium is a given. 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity. Concentration of a HI is a given. 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity. 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity. And the concentration of a I2 at a equilibrium is given. 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity. We have to find out the concentration of a H2 at a equilibrium. So we have to given the chemical reaction. The chemical reaction which is we have to given H2 gas plus I2 gas. H2 gas plus I2 gas. H2 gas plus I2 gas gives the 2 HI gas. Gives the 2 HI gas. This chemical reaction we have to given. So write down the equilibrium expression for this chemical reaction. That is the K is represented the equilibrium, equilibrium constant. That is equal to concentration of the product concentration of the product raised to the power its a stoichiometric coefficient divided by concentration of the reactant raised to the power its a stoichiometric coefficient concentration of the reactant raised to the power its a stoichiometric coefficient this sc is represent the stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient right so now write down the equilibrium expression for the given chemical reaction. So we have to write down the equilibrium chemical equilibrium expression for the given chemical reaction that is equals to K. K is the our equilibrium constant that is equals to concentration of a HI gas at a equilibrium raised to the power its stoichiometric coefficient is the 2 upon concentration of the H2 its stoichiometric coefficient is the 1 into concentration of the I2, its stoichiometric coefficient is the 1. So this concentration is at an equilibrium. We know that the value of an equilibrium constant, concentration of the HI and concentration of a I2. Now we can easily find the concentration of a H2 gas. So the con equilibrium constant value we have to given that is the 32. That is equal to concentration of a HI is given 8.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity. 8.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity right square it's square upon concentration of a h2 upon concentration of a h2 into concentration of a i2 the concentration of i2 is given 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity right so now the rearrange the term we get a concentration of a h2 that is equals to 8.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 8.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 square into molarity square into molarity square whole divided by 32 whole divided by 32 whole divided by 32 into 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 into molarity. So now this molarity to this one molarity get cancelled there is the molarity is left. So now we rearrange the term, we get a H2. Simplify this term, we get a H2 that is equals to 8.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 square and the unit is the left molarity whole divided by 32, 32 into 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3, right? 
so now the calculation from this part calculate from this part we get the concentration of a h2 that is equals to concentration of a h2 that is equals to 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 in molarity so now we can get the concentration of a h2 at a equilibrium the concentration of a h2 at a equilibrium at a equilibrium that is equals to 4.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity so this is our concentration of a h2 at a equilibrium so the correct option is the option number 4 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molarity so i hope this answered your question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today